Hi, this is Bill Bass, Technology Integration Specialist. In my last video, I talked about how to get an ExamView test that you have exported from ExamView into, as a rich text file and get that ready to put into Senio. Okay, so you can take a look at that other example for that. But what I want to show you now is how to create a macro, which is basically a little program that um, does a series of actions that you automate. Okay, if you were going to manually get rid of this table, what you do is click in the table, you go to table, convert, table to text, click other, okay. Okay, now that was about six mouse clicks. It would be really nice if I could do that in essentially two mouse clicks and save myself going through this table, going to convert, text uh, table to text, selecting the other button, etc. Okay, so what I want to show you is how to create a macro and then put a button on your toolbar that will do that for you. So to start, I'm going to click inside my cell here, um, inside one of the tables because I have to record the macro. Then I'm going to go up to tools, down to macro, and record new macro. Okay, this macro I'm going to call table to text. Okay, everything else is fine here, so I say okay. As soon as I say okay, my cursor changes to a looks like a little cassette, basically showing that it's recording. Okay, so I'm currently recording my little macro. It's going to record all the actions that I do here. So I am in my cell. I'm going to go up to table, convert, table to text, select other, making sure that there's a space here, and click OK. Now that that's done, I'm still recording. The cassette's still going on my little cursor here. So I'm going to come over here and click Stop Recording. Stop Recording. Now it's done. Now. If I went into, I'm going to click on number three, my number three table here, go up to tools, click macro, macros, here is that macro that I just recorded. If I run that macro, it automatically does that, okay? Now that's still a few too many clicks, in my opinion. So what I want to do is I want to make it so it's really easy to access this macro wherever I want to, whenever from my toolbar whenever I need it. So I'm going to right click in this area of the toolbar, go down to customize, and on the commands tab I'm going to go down and find the macros option. And over here you're going to see normal.newmacros.table to text. That's the macro that I just recorded. If I pull that up, put it in my toolbar, I'm going to put it right beside the cut tool. There is my macro. Okay, now that's pretty unsightly. Everything else has cute little icons, and I think I'd like that to be a cute little icon too. So I'm going to right click here, allow me to change the name of it. I'm going to say table to text. I'm going to change the button. I think I'm going to make a smiley face because I'm pretty happy that, in fact, I get to do two clicks and change this table to text. Right click again, set a default style, that just gives me the happy face, close that, nah. and now this is my table to text macro, that icon. So I can click on my table in number four, click on my smiley face, there it goes. Number five, there it goes. Six, there it goes. Okay, once you're done, be sure you save this as a word file and get rid of the um, answer key that's at the bottom of this document then it's ready to import into Senio as a word file hope that helps